KOP Entertainment Production. Hopefully you guys are ready for this one. Now, a lot of people have been all over Twitter, and it's been all over the gram and all over Instagram and YouTube. Yes, this is an epidemic, y'all. This is The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. Now, a lot of people want to know what happened to the weekend show. So, we go through innovation. We go through it a lot of times, y'all. We go through it, and we're always changing. I always want to say to my fans out there that change is good for business sometimes, and it's always, always good. So, we've decided in our brief meeting today um, and enhance of the new the new uh, green screen that you guys see, the new stage that you guys see here today, we decided to call it The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. Now, it's going to be entertainment for sure. It's still going to go on for the series of The Weekend Show and The Today Show that we did way back when. So it's very, very exciting. And I guess you can guys, you guys can count this as the new season of the show. So we ran 11 seasons strong with The Weekend Show. It has been fun. It has been really, really fun doing the weekend show, taking it all over Atlanta and all over different cities in the United States. But we are back in production and we're calling it The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. Now, I had to really think strategically about this because I went to call it at first The Late Night Show, but someone already had that, or The Tonight Show. Somebody already has that. So The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas is just fits in really, really well. Um, and it's, it is late. And that's kind of the theme, y'all. We are filming. We're producing and filming today's show at 10.02. So it is late. Uh, I am so glad that you guys stuck with us. Uh, it has been a journey. Of course, you'll see it all over the gram, and you'll see it. You'll see the poster of the, uh, the, the, the post of the new stage setup, and of course, things are, things are growing and things are changed. So hopefully, you guys like our decision here at KLP Entertainment. Uh, we have been, you know, really thinking about this long and hard for the past two days, and we finally came up with a decision to call it The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. Now, again, hopefully you guys are ready for it because we got a whole bunch of new, exciting things to talk about on The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. So let's dive in, shall we? Kennedy Lucas, we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of new, exciting things. So you guys are aware of this. So we have it here, y'all. Dragon Ball Super has a new movie coming out January 2019. So, of course, they're calling it Broly. I do believe that they are making the Broly movie that you've seen in the past. The Broly movie is coming back, y'all. Uh, it's really new designed. Um, I think they're going back into history. Um, they're going back to as if they never met Broly. And uh, they, so you can see the trailer on YouTube. It looks very exciting. Um, of course, it hits theaters. Uh, they're probably going to do that one-time deal, what they did, the same as um, the first Dragon Ball Super movie and Resurrection uh, F. Uh, well, Battle of the Gods is the uh, first movie, then Resurrection F. So they're probably going to do that one-time thing in theaters where they play for a couple of days in theaters and then they take it off and then they put it on website. So it's really exciting to see something like that. I am stoked that they're... Still making the movies. Um, they make a lot of money. Let me tell you, Funimation and Dragon Ball Z, they make a lot, a lot of money on uh, theaters. They really do because people like to go see Dragon Ball Z on that um, on the big screen. They really love to go see that. So that's their niche. They're making a lot of, and I do mean a lot of money for that. And it's just really exciting to see that they're doing something like that out there and they're coming back and they're hitting theaters, uh, of course, in January 2019. So that'll be next year. I, I never really see the Dragon Ball Z movies because they put it on Funimation's website or they put it on an anime site. Um, so, you know, I'm not really losing it if I don't um, see it right in theaters. But, you know, it's really, really cool to uh, see that they're doing something like that. So stoked for it because it's really, really exciting. They're going back into story. They're adding the Dragon Ball Z super style to it. You get to see Goku turn Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue in this movie as if you're going back in history. Vegeta and Goku's going back. And even Frieza fights Broly in this in this movie. So it tells you that, you know, this movie is really going to be uh, slam dunk. It's going to be so exciting, y'all. I'm really, really stoked to see how this movie plays out. Uh, again, you have your current voice actors. 
Uh, again, you have the same anime star, uh, art style as if you're watching the Dragon Ball Z Super style. So we're really excited for it. Um, Dragon Ball Z has been coming back. A lot of people don't like Dragon Ball Z Super. I actually enjoy it for what it is. Um, it's not like the classics. I'm not going to say that it's just like the classics. Uh, uh, there's just it's, it's newer. It's like a, a fresh look of how Dragon Ball Z sh is going to look like. But it's is really really fresh and i i enjoy this series um i'm waiting until season two comes out because i am stuck on season one and i'm trying to catch up with uh so many more seasons the other seasons they're all in dub so it's hard to read i it's hard for me to watch a dub anime i know that's weird because there's you know most anime people out there it's it's really really weird that um uh, as an anime fan, I only watch the dub version of the animes, but it's really, really hard. I did see rewrite, uh, rewrite the other day in Stavers. It was on Crunchyroll that I saw it. So it was just very exciting to see that I um, watched that anime. That anime I've been looking for for a long time. Big shout out to my friend David. He gave me a whole list of animes to watch, but I was very, very excited to see that he's uh, that you know, I'm trying to start watching sobbed anime. It's just really hard because it's like you're trying to read and trying to understand what's going on. So, Dragon Ball Z Super, y'all, go see it out. It's coming out in January 2019. The movie Broly. So the hit, y'all, from Sega, of course, Sega has been booming this month. It's really, really exciting to see that Sega is coming back in America. They're really, really bringing up all the stops. Of course, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, and if you guys didn't get the title of uh, today's show, then you don't understand how exciting it is. Sonic Mania Plus is out right now, y'all. Of course, if you have the original Sonic Mania like I do, you can go out to the Xbox store and purchase the downloadable content as of Sonic Mania Plus, or you can go out and get a physical digital disc copy of Sonic Mania Plus, art book, and so much more that comes in that package. It's so exciting to see that Sonic Mania is back in our history. Uh, it's been a while long coming for Sonic and Sega to come back and do something really, really exciting. This year has been a really good year for, for Sega and Sonic. Of course, you had Sonic Mania intro, Sonic Forces to be a really good hit, and now you have uh, Sonic Mania Plus that is out right now, y'all. Okay, so let me tell you why I'm, I'm hyped about this because, you know, Sega, they've been on the slum with Sonic for a long, long, long time. And as you guys know, in multiple podcasts and multiple shows that me and Tyra's done, you guys know our struggle with Sonic Mania. And it's just really, really exciting to see that um, Sonic Mania is back in our history. Let me tell you, because you can purchase Sonic Mania Plus. Of course, you get not only the your main characters of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, but you get Ray the Squirrel and Mighty the Armadillo, the long-awaited two characters that has been waiting for this. And of course, we knew about this for a good month now, but you know, it is very, very exciting to see that um, these characters, they're coming back strong. Of course, you got Ray and Mighty to come back and they are now playable after years and years and years that we didn't see them. We saw them, well we didn't, we saw Mighty the Armadillo and Knuckles Chaotix, uh, Chaos and you, you know you, you heard of, of uh, 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 Ray the Flying Squirrel but you never get to play as them and now you can. So uh, Sonic Mania Plus, let me tell you what it is. Of course is you get the hit game, you get a new mode called encore mode so what it is of course is just redid the stage they redesigned the stages and different loopholes that you can go on the stage so it looks very beautiful and of course you can do a four player split screen mode and you can get an art book and so much more for under thirty dollars so honestly sega is smart sega is smart on their sales and i really do hope that sega gets a lot of good hits on that. Of course, we're going to talk about more on Sonic Mania Plus on the Luke's Chat podcast, but it's just very, very exciting to see that Sonic Mania is back uh, I once again to do Sonic Mania Plus, all under $30, and their infomercial was so good because, honestly, if you go out there and you try to purchase a shooter game or a new shooter game like Call of Duty or Battlefield, you're paying $70 just to get that game. Of course, so much more stuff you can get with it, but you that $70 value under that. But with Sonic Mania Plus, you can get $30 worth of some good quality stuff. That's how games should be marketed. Sega's smart, and I think every company should be like this. 
have your games market at $30. I will pay $30 for a game. $70 are always hard for me to come by because that's $70. That is a phone bill. That's so much more stuff that you got to get. So, you know, it's very, very exciting to see that they're playing it smart. Sega is definitely playing it smart on their game. They know exactly what they're doing. And I'm just so stoked about it because under $30, you guys can get that value. So I am not a sponsorship from Sega, but I'm going to shout out Sega out for being it and playing it smart, y'all. Go out and go buy it. So I'm going to play it. Yeah, so it's just very, very exciting. Y'all. I'm really, really excited for this. Comment below if you enjoyed the Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. That is the new name for uh, the weekend show series. We're putting the weekend show title to rest and now calling the show The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. So excited with the new intro. New green screen setup here. It's really, really nice. Very modern like. This is kind of this is what I've been looking for in a, in the, in my stage here. And it just really looks really, really amazing. I enjoy it. It is amazing. I really do. It's very modern. It's just so me. I love it. Um, so y'all, uh, if you guys haven't seen it. Please go out and see it. It's available on YouTube. They made a fan-made Uncharted film, short film. So they made a short film, uh, of course, Uncharted. And you're seeing characters of Elena, Nathan Drake, and Sully. Um, this, if if uh, the person who made the fan-made film... You need to go out there and get a license deal from a big studio company, and you should make an Uncharted movie. Uh, that's that's because if you guys haven't seen it, most of you guys probably have seen it, but if you haven't seen it right now, just type in Uncharted action fan film. It's number one on YouTube search bar. It has over 2 million views already. This That fan film is the bomb. The director and the actor... Uh, they were on IGN this morning. I saw the interview on IGN, and they really got it right. They look just like the characters, uh, with some minor details, and they dress just like the characters. You had Sully, who the actor played Sully so well, like he would say his little cursing, you know, modernisms, I guess, and you know he had the big scar and cigar in his mouth, so he really really played that character really well um y'all it is out there on youtube please go check it out um we don't have a clip for you guys on today's show but it's just really really amazing to see what fan people can do fan film film filmmakers can do it really does inspire me as a filmmaker to go out there and continue to make my films uh simply because um I see people out there who who's doing this on a small budget just to put it on YouTube to see where it goes, you know. So I really do hope that the people who made the Uncharted uh, series, I really do hope that they go out there and get a license deal from Sony or Paramount or someone out there, Universal. Someone has to pick this up because I do predict that this is going to make a lot of money for this film. If they get picked up, I really do hope they get picked up and I really do want them to because they are kicking it right now. They they made this film. It's only 14 minutes and they left us wanting more. They find out where they need to go next and then they cut off. It cuts off. And I really do think they should keep going and keep doing what they're doing and keep uh, making another part of this fan film or get it picked up somewhere because it really does belong to be picked up on a big movie screen. Uh, and to complete the movie series entirely, add a little bit more of effects to it. And this could really be a kick-ass movie. And it could really make sales for both Sony, Naughty Dog, and the Uncharted series to have their finally do a movie. Because it's, it's really cool. Video game movies are coming back in style now. You have Sly Cooper. It's been rumored that they're making a movie. They're in production right now making a Sly Cooper movie. And of course, everyone heard of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. God praying that this movie, Sonic the Hedgehog movie, is A1. I'm really stuck to see how they're going to do that. But this Uncharted was one of those movies that you really had to do. They already did it with Tomb Raider, Lara Croft's Tomb Raider, uh, this past year, actually. So it really, this is the time where big movie studios should pick up 
video games and make movies out of them because you never know where it's going to sell. You never know where it's going to lead. If you look at what I talked about earlier, Dragon Ball Z, they're doing movies. They're going to theaters. So why not these iconic video games? Why are they not going to theaters? So again, big movie studios, they're missing out on that opportunity, I think. Um, so I really do hope that they go out there. So I really do hope you guys have been enjoying The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. That is the new, new, new uh, name of the show. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. I know it's, you know, change is good. Uh, I must say change is very good. And I really do feel good about having the show called The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas, filming it at night and giving it to you guys still on the weekends. It's still going to be counted as the next season of the weekend shows. It just won't be called The Weekend Show anymore. It's just change. You know, we did 11 seasons of uh, The Weekend Show, and now it's just time to change it to a new name. Uh, well, I lied. There's been, what, what uh, nine seasons of The Weekend Show because the first couple of seasons, it was called The Today Show with Kennedy Lucas. If you guys want to go back to my older video back in 2013, and now it is now 2018, and we're still doing the show with a new look and a new... Uh, stage here today. This stage was handcrafted and made by KLB Entertainment. Uh, it took some time to get it set up and to get it positioned right, but you know, we made it possible here. And a big shout out to Whole Stream Studios for making this uh, show here today very, very possible. I hope I really do thank uh, the KLB Entertainment fans for sticking with us this long. It's been, gosh, let me tell you, it's been what, eight years now? Um, eight years. We started in 2010, and we're still King and Strong with KLP Entertainment, and we're growing each day. So I just want to thank you, the fans, for staying tuned for us and really enjoying what we've uh, put to the table and really do. Uh, are we? I'm very thankful as a media label to really keep doing stuff like this, uh, growing, and, and you guys are seeing the KLIN, the Kennedy Lucas International Network with Marco Mani and the Lucas Chat Podcast with Kennedy Lucas and Tyrus Lester. And now you have The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. So, uh, you know, this is what I do for my fans. Um, I'm so proud of them, proud of what we've accomplished so far, and we're still going strong. We're almost about to hit 10 year, 10 year anniversary within the next two years. So it's very, very exciting to see that I have my fan base stick by me. Uh, I'm really thankful for it. And I really want to thank the Lucas Nation fans for really being a part of uh, history and really making us possible. Uh, so, you know, I love you guys. I really do. Uh, and I want to thank every last one of you Lucas Nation fans down to my family, my second family, my third family, uh, down to the actual fans who just watch my stuff just because. And that's just, I'm really appreciative of that. And I'm really glad that I'm still doing this stuff for you guys and you're still watching KLP perform. So it's just really, really exciting. There's more to come with KLP Entertainment. Of course, we started our new film can't give you the title yet because it's still a surprise but we started our new film uh last weekend so we're still in production for that of course look forward to the gentleman's club coming out in september we actually do have the movie on a time ticket now it is on our youtube time ticket it's not on my youtube channel it's not on klp entertainment so don't go looking for it but it's on the youtube time ticket and we have it scheduled for of course september 28th at 10 o'clock a.m that's going to be released for the lucas stage fans for you guys to enjoy as well conviction is still out you know it's still down there if you haven't seen conviction yet what are you waiting for my first thriller movie please go check that out because it's going to be very very exciting of course we got all new things like music fortune's going to be coming out very soon we were in the studio today if you don't follow me follow me on my instagram at kennedy lucas klp i did a little post earlier today uh we were on well by the time you said it, it's going to be way past but we did a post of uh music and the uh progress of KLP's Fortune, so hopefully you guys enjoy that album as what I made in Poetic Soul, Vibe, and Red Value. So very, very proud of what we accomplished here at KLP Entertainment. Um, this is going to be it for The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. Uh, stay tuned for next week because we're going to have a lot of good things to talk about. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment below. We are always reading our comments, so I love you guys. Uh, this has been The Late Show with Kennedy Lucas. Kennedy Lucas, line up.